the focus is on those things that are politically relevant. So in China's case, just to give a couple of examples, we have a pretty good sense from our analysis of what's happening within China's borders in terms of uh, pressures on print journalists, increasingly pressures on the internet, very sophisticated use of um, censorship technology, both in the traditional and new media. What gets far less attention is the degree to which these governments are now willing to go beyond their borders to censor things they find objectionable. So in the last year, this is just in, in calendar 2009, uh, China um, made its voice heard clearly at the Frankfurt book, book Fair. Just to give one example, there were a number of people invited. Uh, China was the guest of honor. They had a multi-million dollar sponsorship there. Uh, they told the German organizers, we would prefer not to see these people participate. And at the outset, at least, the German organizers acceded to their wishes. Uh, it took some time for them to find their sea legs and to roll this back. It's one indication. In Taiwan, in the city of Kaohsiung, there was a film festival last year where Rabia Qadir's um, Ten Conditions of Love was going to be shown. The Chinese government signaled their displeasure in this instance, as they've done in any number of instances when films concerning the Uyghurs or Tibet are on the uh, agenda. Uh, to the great credit of the Taiwanese organizers, they resisted this. But in the meantime, the Chinese authorities signaled to uh, participants, those who had uh, hotel reservations, businesses, that they should withdraw their reservations. So there's an element of commercial coercion. Uh, these things resonate with local hosts. It's a very sophisticated set of tools they use, but this is increasingly happening beyond China's borders, I would add, in democracies and non-democracies alike. And I think as a number of people have already noted, it's essential for the democracies to be vocal about resisting these sorts of entreaties, not to take care of it quietly, not to cut quiet deals, but to be very vocal that this is not a standard that's tolerable. And we haven't seen that quite yet.